here's a great tool to help you in your relationships. You know, relationships go up and down. And when you're down, you need a little help getting up. So here's a tool. Have a positive picture in your hard drive. What does that mean? You know, my husband came home a few year, many years ago, and he was learning with this guy in Toronto, you know, this executive, you know, sort of growing Jewishly, and he you know, thought maybe he'd like to keep kosher, and, but he thought his wife wouldn't be into it. So my husband made an appointment for me to learn with his wife. So now it's Sunday, and that's the day of the appointment. And I had two little kids at the time, and we, you know, fed the kids, cleaned up the house, because we we're going to go out in the afternoon. So I said to my husband, you watch the kids, and I'm going to go out and have this appointment. But when I get back, we're going out. So keep the house in order, because when I get back, we're leaving. So it's fine. So now I drive to a nice part of town, and I see their home, it's like a gorgeous home. Go up, you know, ring the doorbell. She answers the door. She's beautiful. Her house is beautiful. Everyone is beautiful. And I walk in, and every kid has a nanny. You know, her house is like out of a magazine, home beautiful. Get the idea? So we sit down and we start talking about, you know, kosher, body and soul, life and death, things like that. And, you know, women, we start to share, and she starts getting a little emotional. She tells me she, she thinks her husband's having an affair. So forget about milk and meat. Now we start talking about her marriage. So we're talking about her marriage, and the time goes, and, you know, we made up on a to make to meet again for another appointment. So I'm leaving and I'm driving home. And I have mixed emotions. On one hand, she's so beautiful, she's so rich, you know, so it's gorgeous home. On the other hand, what does she really have? So I drive up into our house and the drive, you know, modest home, come into the house. How can I describe the way my house looked? Do you remember I told my husband, keep everything together, all right, because I'm coming back and we're gonna leave. So my house looked like somebody tried to break in, was looking for something, and couldn't find it. The New York, Sunday New York Times was obviously a plaything for my children was everywhere. The kitchen, which was perfectly clean when I left, is a disaster. And I just left home beautiful. And I'm burning mad. And I'm stomping through the kitchen. And I come around the corner, and there's my husband lying at the bottom of the stairs. And my two little kids are jumping up and down on his tummy, giggling and laughing. At that moment, I loved my husband so much. I took a picture in my head and I filed it away into my hard drive. And to this day, when he does something that maybe annoys me, I click on and that picture comes up. And those feelings come back. This is why I married him. In between, we have temporary insanity. We forget why we love people. Pick a relationship and take one of those Kodak moment pictures and file it away. You're gonna need it one day.